Hi beauty. Okay, here's an exercise for you for today. It's super simple. You can do this seated or standing. I'm going to start with something, one part, that's going to drastically affect posture. And then I'm gonna add something to that in the next video. But we're gonna start off seated or standing. If you're standing, your, your feet are about medium stance. If you're seated, it's seated um, in a normal chair. I'm gonna go hands at my side like this. My shoulders are down and back, my head's back. Try and keep your head back as much as you can. Okay, in fact, that's something to notice about your posture is where is your head sitting? Is it forward? This is typical computer posture, driving posture, texting posture. Drive that head back. When you drive the head back, you're gonna notice your abdominals will engage. Okay, so that added, automatically gets your core. It works your core, just having your head back. Then additionally, pulling the head long. Lengthen the space between the bottom of the skull and the shoulders as you pull your shoulders down. So just that the self head back, head long, is going to engage and work your core. Get your core in connection with the command center of your brain. I'm gonna start with my palms here. My elbows are by my side. And I'm going to, you might've seen this one, you may or may not, but this is called the flasher series. Flasher series. Everything I teach is a series of movements. I'm opening my hands, like I'm opening my coat as a flasher, and I'm keeping my elbows in tight. I have a very funny elbow and shoulder. I can sort of blame it on my mom when I was in the womb, but it's not just that. I just have tight shoulders and tight elbows. So when I come out, my elbows are out. This is as close as they'll be, but you wanna be as close as you can, okay? In fact, when I turn out, I'm even pulling in a little bit to my sides. And what this is doing is this is working the rotator cuff muscles in the back of the shoulder, and it's also stretching the front. So it's addressing some of the musculature that happens to get weak and lazy and disconnected from the brain in poor posture. So I'm working those muscles. One thing I am not doing is I'm not squeezing my blades. Now that's not wrong, but it's a different exercise. Right now I just wanna keep your blades fixed and open the hand, rotating this upper arm bone, and then stop and rest. You can do five to 10 of those. You might start, start to burn in these muscles back here. That's not wrong, that's a good thing. Now I'm gonna go hands on a piano, but thumbs up, and I'm gonna come back. Same thing, when I come back, I'm keeping my shoulders down. My head, I'm checking, is my head back? Because even for somebody who knows about good posture, who knows what good posture is, like myself, I forget where my head's at and I get lazy and I get into a habit of head forward. Bring that head back. Automatically what's gonna happen is over time, when you practice that, you'll, you'll know you're in the right spot because your abs are gonna come to the surface. They're gonna engage. Okay, now hold here and pull down. Pull down. You might feel a stretch through here or through your traps. Drive your head back. Pull your neck long. Separate your shoulders from your skull. And then let that go. Good. Tomorrow or on the next video, I'm going to add a neck stretch to this series. Okay. Palms up. I'm going to turn out and come back. My thumbs are facing back. My shoulders are down. I'm checking in on where my head is. I don't want a tip, tipped up chin. I want my chin tucked down, parallel to the floor with my, my jaw. And I'm not squeezing my shoulder blades. I'm just rotating my arm bone. Okay, just like that. Five to 10 reps. Even if you did five reps of these three positions, it would be big. Because these muscles in the back, these rotator cuff muscles, We've got four rotator cuff muscles. They get weak and disconnected, and then they start allowing our whole shoulder to come forward. And then when we lift our arm, they're not working and it can create shoulder injuries. Okay, stop and breathe. We're gonna do one more fourth thing. Arms out wide, shoulders down, head is back. Bring one arm across, pull the arm in from the elbow. Drop that shoulder down, slide the neck back. My neck is slid back and I'm tucking my chin. I'm gonna turn my face right and left. 
So you're gonna see an example right here of a three-dimensional neck stretch. Stop in the center, that was one dimension, now I'm gonna go right and left. Everything I teach is three-dimensional movements because our body was built to move in three dimensions and we want to continue that ability. Now my head and neck are gonna come forward and my head and neck are gonna come back. I'm not just rocking the skull. I'm bringing my head forward and then bringing my neck and head back. As I continue to pull the shoulder down and arm in. Let that go. Okay, arms out wide, bring the arm across, pull the arm in, drop the shoulder, slide that neck back, pull the shoulder down again, turn your face right and turn your face left. What you're gonna see is when you turn to one direction, it's gonna feel tighter. When you turn to the other, it's gonna get looser. Stop in the center, tilt and tilt. Tilt, I'm continuing to pull my arm down and in. Stop in the center, head and neck go forward, head and neck go back. So I'm tilting my neck forward, tilting my neck back, and then my skull goes back too. One more time and then let that out. Okay, so that was called the Flasher Series. Super great for shoulder loosening, shoulder strengthening, proper connection with the brain so that we can start to restructure your posture. Posture, thank you.